Hi, Pat. Um, I think today we should show people how to use the, the hyperlinking and the, the um, picture inserting features in Worldwide Telescope. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so let's open Worldwide Telescope. While we're waiting for it to open, we'll say that we meant to say inserting those things in a tour in Worldwide Telescope. Let's make Worldwide Telescope be a little smaller so it fits in our movie window. Let's make it fit exactly. Okay, perfect. And so we want to start by making a tour. So we'll click here on the Guided Tours tab, which will take us to all of the pre-made tours automatically. And we have to know to click on this little down triangle here to create a new tour. So I'll select Create a New Tour, which we call our new tour. Uh, stars in Andromeda. Stars in Andromeda. Okay. And we'll say that Pat and Alyssa made this tour. And we can put in all sorts of other information and tags and taxonomy about the objects later. So for now, we'll just say OK. And then very importantly, the very first thing we have to do is to add a slide. Um, but actually, before we do that, let's switch to a view of the sky rather than a view of the solar system. Okay. Did you want to explain about the blue sides? Yeah, so these blue sides here are, um, are for people who have narrow, narrow views, narrow monitors, and so we'll try not to put anything outside of those blue bands. We'll just leave that on. If I wanted to turn it off and make a tour for people with wide monitors, I could click here and turn it off, but I'm going to leave it on. How about the constellation line? Should we turn those off too? Sure. All right, so we go here to view. We turn off the figures and the boundaries and the ecliptic and all of those things. We have no lines. Okay. And then uh, we'll go back to our, our guided tours plan and go back to Stars in Andromeda. And now, um, let's see, where do we want to start our tour before we add a slide? Should we start in um, a nice star forming region in our galaxy? Sure. Like Orion? Sure. Okay, so we'll just search for Orion here. How about the Orion Nebula? We'll go there. And uh, maybe we'll back up so we can see the whole Orion constellation. And then we can zoom in. All right, so let's go back to our tour. And now we'll finally do add a slide. And that'll be the beginning of the first slide. So this little yellow flag is selected, and that means that we've set the starting view to be right where we are now. Okay. And then if we zoom in a little bit, go back in here and zoom in to the Orion Nebula. Obviously, we can add text and narration later, but let's uh, right-click here and say that that'll be our end camera position. And if you just want to check what we had as the beginning camera position, you can do Show Start Camera Position, and you'll see. So that'll zoom smoothly from one to the other. And then we'll have some nice talk about how this is a star-forming region in our galaxy, and then we'll want to go off to, um, to Andromeda, mm -hmm. right, to show yep. some star formation there. So let's uh, go over here and, and search for uh, M31, which I happen to know is the name of Andromeda. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'll click on Andromeda Galaxy. I'll go right there. All right, and maybe we'll start that as the next slide? Sure. Okay, we're going to run out of time. We'll make this movie in two parts. Okay. All right, and so now we want to do add a slide. Okay, and that, again, where you start is the default starting position for yep. the slide. And then we want to um, zoom in on a particular region of Andromeda, but I don't really know where that is until I look for it by finding the special extra Hubble imagery. So let's zoom in a little and watch this context down here update. And this thing here where it says young and old stars, that's what we wanted to show, right? Yep. So we'll click on that, and it'll move over to the right part of Andromeda. And we'll have that be the end of this slide. Uh, Set end camera position. Okay. And then why don't we um, go ahead and make that also the beginning of a new slide. Okay. And so we'll make sure that that's the starting camera position. And then we'll zoom in to show all of these stars that you can see in such detail with Hubble. Okay. And we'll set that as the ending camera position for this slide. And then we'll come back in part two of this movie and show how you add things. Sounds good.